Hello everybody, my name's Katie and welcome to today's video. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm talking to this mic. I'm sitting at Luke's desk right now and he has a mic here because this is the mic he uses for gaming. So I'm like, hello everybody, how we doing? So don't mind that. Anyways, hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I am so very glad that you're here. If you are a frequent watcher of my channel, you'll know that I don't normally film over here, but I didn't want to be in the living room or the bedroom because that's where the majority of this video takes place today. And I don't want to like spoil anything for you. And I forgot to film an intro for this video so I'm coming back after the majority of it is already filmed to film the intro now I'm so sorry about the squeaky chair wow oh my gosh I'm gonna try and stay really still for you guys that did okay that did nothing Katie today's video is a video that I have been hinting at in all of my recent videos for probably about a month now because it's taken a while to get everything built get everything organized get all the decorations and things that I want for it so we're gonna be organizing my bookshelves today. I am so incredibly excited. This is how my books started out in this apartment. I am really gonna miss this setup, but I felt myself growing out of it. I just don't have enough room for the books on this little eight cube shelf thing that we have under our TV. So I decided it was time to have a little upgrade and I ended up getting two of the Ikea Billy bookcases. I am so excited about these bookcases because not only can I have a lot of room to grow because I know for a fact that I don't have enough books to fill the space but it also allows me to be a little creative with the decoration and stuff like that I can put like pictures and like other stuff on it just like little knickknacks and things so I'm just so incredibly excited to start decorating and Luke actually built my bookshelves for me while I was at work one day because he's literally like the sweetest ever so let's get right on into organizing the first thing that we're gonna be doing before we even get into any sort of organizing on my new bookshelves is stamping them because I haven't stamped them yet and this is something that Brooke Hey Brooke. Got for me for Christmas. I've probably shown you guys this before, but I'll show you it again if you haven't seen it before. It's just a book stamp and it says from the library of Katie Starks, which is going to be my new last name whenever Luke and I get married. It just looks like this. Super cutie. I can't remember where she said she found it, but I'm going to leave it on my Amazon storefront one really similar to this if you guys are interested. By the way, if I ever say that I'm linking something like that, it'll either be just like in the description or it'll be on my link tree but let's say goodbye to the books at hand these are all the books currently that i've read and i've got my tbr cart right here that is completely full of all the books that i haven't read i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stamp all the books that i have read and then as i read them i'm gonna stamp them just kind of like another sign of like yeah, I read that book, you know, like it's kind of like a way to add to like the super satisfying feeling that you feel whenever you finish a book. So let's go ahead and get to stamping. crazy to me. I've had books on these shelves since we moved in here and now it's just like empty. It's kind of sad, low key. And then these books down here, these are ones that I'm like not really going to read or they're just like self-help or nonfiction or something. As of right now though, we have all the stamp books on the floor and then I have my TBR right here. And I think from here, I'm just going to go ahead and organize them by series, genre, author, all of that kind of stuff and intermingle my TBR with my books that I've read. I'm going to eventually have to move them into the bedroom because that's where the bookshelves are. But I don't really think I want to do that today because if I do that today, they're going to be all over our bedroom floor. So I think I'm just gonna leave them in the living room for today, but who knows? Maybe I will want to organize all of them today. I just don't know if I'm gonna have time for that. So I don't wanna like do that and then it'd be a mess like everywhere. I'm really excited though, just to get them all organized and stuff. I feel like the bookshelves are gonna look so good. I also bought a few things for the bookshelves just to kind of like spice them up a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna have enough books to fill all the shelves at this point. But the reason why I bought these specific ones is so then we can like grow into them a little bit. And then hopefully I won't have to buy new shelves or anything like that for a long time. But we're gonna have to get a little creative and put a little bit of decor on the shelf too, not just books. Okay, let's go ahead and start organizing them. Okay, 
I'm putting romance on this side, fantasy on this side, and then I've got some mysteries and other genres down here. Let's go ahead and add in my TBR. Like I said, romance over here, fantasy over here, and then just genres I don't really have that much of in the middle. Now it is time to put them into authors and sub genres just so I can get a little bit more specific because that's probably how they're going to be organized anyways. And I think that's how I want to do it. I don't think I want to do like a rainbow shelf right now just because I don't know. I kind of like having all the authors and like series together that just like makes sense for my brain and makes me feel good. I honestly feel like this is going to take a little bit of time. So I think I'm just going to pop on a YouTube video either on my phone or on the TV and just kind of like get to it. I feel like this step though is really important because whenever I go to actually like put them on my bookshelf, they're all already going to be with like their authors, their subgenres, all of that kind of stuff. And it kind of freaks me out just putting books up and then not knowing where each book that I need is. And this way I'll know where everything is. <laughs> put them in like the little cubbies on this shelf that I have just to kind of have them out of the way. I got all my romance over here organized and then all my fantasy over here organized. The random books like I was talking about, some classics, and then some nonfiction and stuff on the bottom of these standalones. I do have a lot of other stuff that I have to do today. I'm glad I got that done though because it's kind of like prepped and ready for whenever we're putting them on the actual bookshelves. So I'll see you guys whenever it is time to do that. Okay, it's so the next day. I didn't have time to do everything yesterday and I didn't want to like halfway do it and then do more today i just wanted to do it like all in one day but at least the books are organized and ready to go before we put everything on the shelves though i want to give you guys a little haul because i ended up getting quite a few things for decoration and i have some other things that i've just like had to show you what else i'm going to be putting on the bookshelf and where they're from and stuff like that just because i know for a fact i'm not going to have enough books to fill up the entire space so i'm gonna have to get a little bit creative and obviously we have a lot of room to go with these shelves which makes it i don't know more exciting so like the more books i buy and the bigger my collection grows and stuff we're gonna have a lot of room on these and hopefully i won't have to buy new shelves while still living in this apartment i think that's my goal and that's kind of why i wanted to do two instead of one and then eventually maybe i'll get like a smaller one for the middle or just like another big one we'll see i'm not really sure exactly what i want my little library to look like by the way if you're interested in any of these items most of them will be linked on my amazon storefront which is always linked in my link tree down below first off i'm gonna do my harry potter items because they're just very sacred and important to me you guys saw me build this lego set in my last vlog and it is the Dobby Lego set that Brooke got me for my birthday. She is literally the best. And this is literally like the cutest Lego set I've ever seen. And he's just gonna look so cute on my shelves. I'm so excited, especially because obviously like I only have seven Harry Potter books. So I wasn't really sure what else I was gonna put on the shelf. And that is why I'm also glad I got this little Hedwig guy. I think I showed you guys this in my book shopping video. It was $3 at Barnes and Noble, literally such a steal and so excited for my Harry Potter shelf. Hoping that it turns out good. And then I also just have this plant that's from Ikea. I got it a little while ago, but it doesn't really have like a home yet. And it's just like this. This is also from Ikea, the little pot that comes with it. I have a few other plants that are mostly from Target. I don't know if I'm going to be using those, but they're in like a storage closet that we have. So we might be bringing those out. We might not be. We'll see. And then I also just have a ton of picture frames. I really like wood, like light wood and just white. So most of them are like that. And I'm pretty sure all of those are from Target. I did end up getting some new photos. I have 
tons of photos from over the years from like disposable cameras and my Polaroid and stuff. But there were a few new photos that are just very special that I wanted to have framed. And I just got three of them for now. And I don't know if all of them are going to be on the bookshelf. I might put some of them other places in the apartment. But these are some of Luke and I's engagement photos. If you want to see more photos, go check out my Instagram. But I haven't really posted these yet. So you guys are going to get a little inside scoop because these are the film photos from our session. This one I think is my favorite. This is my lock screen right now. And then this is Luke and I's favorite that we both agreed upon. This is what we sent out with our save the dates. And then this one is Luke's favorite. And I just feel like these are photos that we're going to show our kids and we're going to be like, oh, like, look how cute your mom and dad were and like so in love. I don't know. It's just so cute and special. And I absolutely love film photos. So I'm really excited to display these. I also have my TBR jar, which will be going somewhere on the bookshelf. I felt like that'd be a good thing to put on there. These little Mickey stuffed animals, not all of them. I think I'm going to put one in my car. They've literally been in the package almost the entire time besides when I took them out to like look at them and I also put them back in like upside down so don't mind that these need a home so maybe some of them will go on my bookshelf I also have these crates that I got for my birthday not all of them are going to be going on here because I think some of them are going to go in the little key organizer that my books used to be in but I figured I could either put some books in here or my book journaling supplies or just like annotating stuff in here and then I also got these acrylic book stand frames I have six of them gonna be Okay, I'm literally throwing things. I got six acrylic book stands and they have like little like stickers on them right now. So that's why they kind of look cloudy. So don't mind that. But it's going to be kind of hard for me to decide which books to pick. And then we also have my first ever jelly cat that I'm going to be putting on here. I literally got this one specifically because I thought it would look really cute on my bookshelf. And it just has little tulips and it's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. And then I also got two things from Home Goods. Technically three, but you'll, you'll see. I got this little Polaroid frame thing that matches the wood from my other ones from Target. So I thought this would be perfect. And then our last thing, which I'm probably the most excited about, is my bookends. I've kind of been looking for some for a while for this bookshelf. I just wasn't sure if I even wanted them. I wasn't sure what like color scheme I wanted them to be or anything like that. And then I walked into Home Goods the other day and they just had the perfect ones. And they were like 17 bucks, but they're literally perfect and wonderful and amazing. These are them. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm literally so obsessed with these. I wasn't going to end up getting any. I was just like, you know what? If I don't find any that I like, just like screw it. It's not that big of a deal. But these? Oh my gosh. Those are like the most exciting things that you're going to see on my bookshelf. Other little bits and pieces are just like old that I've had like honestly forever. So I think it's time. We're just going to bring the books on in and get going. to The Spare by Prince Harry and obviously as like a ghostwriter or whatever and it's his memoir and the audiobook is really really good because he is the narrator which is kind of cool. So I'm going to be listening to that while doing all of this and you'll see too that I went ahead and divided up the books a little bit more from the original stacks that I like carried them in with just by author, series, genre, standalone, all of that kind of stuff and now I think what I'm going to do is what I guess you can call like marking just kind of like seeing where stuff fits where stuff can go because I feel like I just have a lot of stuff to put on these shelves and I just have zero idea how I want to organize it. So we're going to be doing that and just kind of seeing where stuff can fit. that I have zero idea what I'm doing. 
So that's really comforting. Okay, I had a little break, had some water, had a protein bar, feeling a little bit better. We're just kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I definitely don't have enough books to fill the entire bookshelf like I thought, which isn't surprising. And there are obviously certain things that I want. Like I knew I wanted an SJM shelf, I knew I wanted a Harry Potter shelf, and I knew I wanted my five star reads to be like the ones with the thingy that are like propped up and stuff. And I also decided that the left side is gonna be fantasy and the right side is gonna be romance. I don't know, I feel like I just need to play with the books a little bit more and then we can start adding in the more like fun decorative items and cross my fingers that it's just all gonna work out. about a lot of the shelves that I was already kind of like thinking of and envisioning like my Harry Potter shelf, SJM shelf because I was already like thinking about those. So like I knew what I wanted to do. A lot of my other shelves though, I just, I don't know what to do. I think the toughest part is that some of my shelves are just like so full of books, like my SJM shelf, but then I literally have like these shelves down here that barely have like any books or anything else going on because I don't really want to put anything down there. I don't know. I just don't really know what to do. Wait, one second. Could this be cute? That's kind of cute. I kind of love it. We have quite a few Lego sets. I mean, I put the Dobby one up already. And I have another city one. We also have Singapore. So maybe I could put another one on here. I don't know. I feel like the thing that I'm struggling the most with right now with all the organizing and stuff like that is the fact that I film a lot of videos in front of my bookshelves. And I'm going to be sitting like towards the bottom. So this is what it's going to look like when I'm filming like a sit down video or something like that. I wanted Emily Henry and SJM here, of course. So that's perfect. But I, I don't want a ton of my like favorite authors and stuff like that to be on the bottom because that's not like where your eye goes whenever you're looking at a bookshelf. I could also just sit in my chair though and I'd probably be like up a level which could be cute because I have a ton more like things going on up here and more of like my favorite authors specifically like romance authors. I don't know how I feel about these two shelves right here. I want to do something different. Can we talk about the bookends too? I'm probably gonna say it a billion times but they look so good. Let's see how this looks with my chair. Okay so if I film on my chair I feel like this looks good right? I just obviously need to fill like these little my tripod shrinking. If you have a tripod that doesn't shrink like mine does, comment down below because I would really love to have it because the shrinking, it's gotta go. Like it's a true issue. I feel like this looks good though because I've been wanting a way to sit in my chair because I haven't been sitting in my chair a lot in my videos recently just because like it didn't look right, but I feel like it looks good now. Yes, no, maybe. Love this shelf right here. I want Powerless to be in my sit down videos and stuff like that because I love that book, but I'm not obsessed with this shelf right here. I think this shelf is cute. I think this shelf needs some work though. I want to add some more books on this shelf if it's going to like be in my videos and stuff like that. I feel like these two shelves on each side are going to be like the most important shelves for like filming wise. And then I obviously need something right there too. I don't know. Since these four shelves are like the most important filming wise, I'm low-key tempted to move the bookends down just because they look so cute. Let's switch it around. Okay guys, I'm finished with my bookshelves. I kind of sat with it for a little bit just to make sure I felt good about it. But I moved quite a few things around and just made sure everything was like organized very specifically, like books left to right, up to down, series wise, all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying. But without further ado, let me show you guys my bookshelves. I'm so excited for you to see them. Three, two, one. Oh 
my gosh they're so cute as you can see on the bottom i had to do a little bit of improvising but that is okay they'll eventually get filled with books okay let's go a little bit more in depth starting with the right side here is a little overview of the right side as you can see mainly romance and then towards the bottom i have a little bit of literary fiction and non-fiction all romance of here we have one of my favorite reads yours truly by abby jimenez some more summer reads and then just some random standalones the second shelf has a lot of interconnected standalones and also just some random books by the same authors we've got the not come out series and then next to it my tbr jar and then i put this right here this little basket it just has some bookmarks and some stuff for the tbr jar just random bookish things and then right here we got some more books maple hill series Alyssa sussman and sarah adams books and then we have a little Polaroid picture of me and Luke. So cute. I love this frame. It's so cute. And then some billionaire romances by Lauren Asher. This next shelf, we have my bookends. I am literally obsessed with them, you guys. And then we just have a bunch of random romance books. We've got my Lynn Painter adult romances. We've got my Allie Hazelwood books. A few other favorites and then just some that I haven't read yet that I hope I'm really gonna like. Below that, we have a few of my favorite authors. We've got Ashley Poston, Lynn Painter, and of course, Emily Henry. Happy place is our little guest of honor right here because she is one of my favorite books ever and then we also have my little planted pot tulip jelly cap thing right there she's so cute i also thought it was kind of cool to have the sprayed edges out i just thought that looked really cutie and then we have the rest of my emily henry books right here with a picture of me and my parents and then a little lego cake that came from the dobby set i had to get a little creative with these two shelves this little box right here just holds a bunch of other like bookish things some markers and then my reading journal that i'm going to be starting soon I'm so excited. Pens, pencils, all of my nonfiction and my literary fiction that I have right now and a little potted plant. And then on the left we have the Singapore Lego set that Luke and I made and then just some books that aren't really my favorite. Starting over on the left shelf, this is mainly fantasy and then we also have some mystery at the bottom. Starting at the top we have my Harry Potter shelf. If you can't tell, I'm a big fan. Little Hedwig plushie, the first Harry Potter book, the rest of the series, Dobby and his sock and then Tom Riddle's Diary, which is kind of cool. That also came with the Dobby Lego set. Thinking about putting my movie set up there too. Who knows? The second shelf, we just have random fantasy series that I only have two books of right now and a little picture of me and Brooke. Love you, Brooke. She is right above the Empyrean, aka Fourth Wing series. And then we have the Letters of Enchantment series. And then we have the Shepherd King duology, a little random plant from the Target dollar section. And then one of the little Mickey Mouse plushies. I thought that was so cute there. On the third shelf, we have some Stephanie Garber books. We have Powerless, My Child, My Baby. I love her so much. This is the one that I actually read whenever I first got it, which is like the UK version, and I tabbed it, so I thought I wanted to leave the tabs out because I think that looks really, really cute. Some other random fantasy books. This one is actually a paranormal romance, but I feel like it looked better over on this side of my shelf with these books than it did on the romance side. And then we have one of Luke and I's engagement photos. This one is one of my favorites. It looks so cute. Going down, we have my Sarah J. Mash shelf. We have Akatar, Throne of Glass, and Crescent City. I don't really know if this is going to stay like this whenever I get the third Crescent City book. And whenever there's obviously more Akatar books coming out, I kind of want to split the shelf a little bit. But I just don't know really what that's going to look like, so I'm just going to think on that one. And then the bottom two shelves of this one, too, are a little rough. But I have a bunch of random fantasy books right here, whether they're standalones or they're the start of the series. I just don't have the rest of the series. Then I have this cute little butterfly thing that one of my sisters got for me. And then the Paris Lego set that Luke and I built. And on bottom, I have all of my mystery and thriller books. Not that many as you can see. Again, thought it was kind of cool to display this book since I tabbed it. And yeah, I think my favorites on here are definitely The Naturals and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. And then this little thing just has random photos and hang up stuff and like command strips and stuff like that for the apartment. Let's do one last little overview. It looks so good. I'm obsessed. Sorry if this angle looks a little bit rough. I'm trying to get the majority of my bookshelves in this clip, but yeah, that's really it. These are my bookshelves. Let me know what you guys think down below or if you have any other tips or tricks or things you think I should do with them because I'm genuinely curious and could use any help that I can get even though I'm literally obsessed with them and will probably never shut up about them and post countless and countless pictures of them on my social medias but obviously we're always looking for ways to spice things up especially as I get more books if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more videos from me every single week and also comment down below if you watched this far in the video a little hand heart emoji so I know who the real ones are. If you want to keep up with my daily life, go ahead and check out my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Goodreads, especially my Goodreads if you want to keep up with what 
I'm reading at the time. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys love the bookshelf, love this video, are having an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I don't know why I'm acting... Are you kidding me?